Today's the 15th of August and I've got a few projects on the farm today. I've got to uh, go back and replant some of the big and beastie that I put in the ground about two weeks ago and I'll explain why I have to replant it. It was just a big mistake that I made that hopefully uh, you know I can keep you from making the same mistake. Got to fertilize uh, some of these plots now. We're starting to see the big and beastie jump on the spots that I didn't mess up. So it's time to get the fertilizer down. We got rain coming. But first, uh, Drake did get out over the past couple of days on the property of one of our team members and filmed a really nice buck. So we'll show you some deer to start and then we'll get out in the field. Realtree's Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by Cuddyback, America's Best Bowstrings, Drake Non-Typical, Easton Arrows, Frigid Forage, Fuse, Grizzly Coolers, Hoyt, and Realtree. This little stretch right here is what it's supposed to look like. In fact, I've got some spots that look even a lot better than this. Uh, the mistake that I made when I planted this originally was uh, putting 2,4-D in the sprayer with the, with the glyphosate. And I thought I needed it to kill the volunteer clover and some of the you know, glyphosate resistant weeds. But as it turned out, I got enough carryover in there that when I came back and planted the big and beastie and it started to germinate, all that extra 2,4-D that was on the ground just completely killed off the, the big and beastie. So it's just a learning experience. Uh, either could have waited longer after spraying to plant and it would have kind of run its course and evaporated out or just kept that 2,4-D out of the tank. So I'm gonna, I'll show you a spot. And like I said, this is okay. I'm still gonna replant this. I got some spots that look awesome, but I'm gonna show you a spot that looks really, really bad. Um, and again, I'm almost 100% sure that's what caused it because like I said the same day I planted other spots that were sprayed differently that did really well. There's a couple different ways to get the seed in the ground or at least to get it started growing. I'm using the RTP Genesis no-till drill, which I really like because there's enough subsoil moisture that if I get the seed into it now, even if it doesn't rain, it'll germinate and start to grow. Uh, a few days ago, Drake took a different approach, more what we would call the poor man's approach to uh, starting a food plot. He sprayed, killed the weeds and grass, and then just spread the big and beastie right into that. And it's, that requires a more consistent rain in order to make that work because the seed will get down to the ground with some rain and the dead weeds will start to cover it up and hold some of the moisture but the problem is if you just get a quick shower it's not enough to really get that stuff going so you need you know a really good rain a good soaker or even a couple of rains uh, to get the, the seed going when you do it that way it will work it's just a little bit riskier because you can't be quite as certain that you're going to get the germination like you can using something like the the genesis and, and the no-till approach well that's it for my part for today uh, the guys are going to 
get out and film on some of the fields this evening. So the rest of the video blog is gonna be hopefully some bucks that they found on the farm. We're still looking for, we found three legitimate shooters so far. We're still looking for some of the bigger ones that were on the farm last year that we haven't found back. So uh, I'll be looking forward to watching this just as much as, as you will be because I wanna see what they see tonight. Well, I appreciate you joining me. We'll be, we'll be back again tomorrow, if nothing else, to shoot the bow. come out that we've been seeing down here. I've seen him I don't know, a dozen times in this field in off the road. And uh, I think Bill said that he thinks he's a four-year-old. So um, no mature deer to speak of. We had another little eight-pointer come out. There's still some more deer coming out in this bottom. So we're going to be back filming early next week. So we'll bring it to you on uh, Bill's blog.